All eyes will be on the shadows of the uh, Royal Rumble this year. I know that there's a lot riding on the WWE right now. The authority uh, back in power, which a lot of people are 100% against. At the Survivor Series this year, at the ending of the show, Sting made his WWE debut from emerging from the shadows and coming out, having a face-off with Triple H, uh, and that uh, he was able to, to lay Triple H out, and from there he was able to roll Seth Rollins over and put Dolph Ziggler on top for the one, two, three, sending the authority back into the uh, past, I guess you could say, making them off the show. They were only gone uh, for the matter of about a month, uh, maybe six weeks at the most, before uh, Seth Rollins was able to outsmart John Cena uh, by, by uh, laying. Edge and Christian out on the uh, Cutting Edge talk show and uh, making uh, Seth Rollins, uh, no, Seth Rollins made John Cena bring back the authority or he was going to crush Edge's neck. For that, you know, Seth Rollins was awarded the number one contendership added into the championship, making it a triple threat, John Cena versus Seth Rollins versus Brock Lesnar. Uh, A lot is writing on this. You know that uh, Triple H is wanting to bring back um, the championship into the authority. You can see that there's been a, a breaking of the tide. Everyone is pushing in different directions. There's the Paul Heyman camp with Brock Lesnar. There's the authority. And then, of course, John Cena is out on an island of his own. I thought it was really good uh, last night on Raw. Um, reunion at the end of the show. It was a three-on-one match, stacking the deck against John Cena once again. It was Cena going up against uh, Big Show, Corporate Kane, and Seth Rollins. Uh, If John Cena didn't win this match, he was going to be removed from the triple threat, making it just Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins. And on top of that, um, the three guys, Dolph Ziggler, Eric Rowan, and Ryback, would not be able to return to WWE from being fired. They would be still fired, (laughs) Yeah, I guess you can say. Um, You know, Sting came out. He made his appearance. He was able to distract Corporate Kane and Big Show. John Cena was able to grab, uh, you know, Seth Rollins and schoolboy him and get the big victory. Of course, John Cena ran out in the crowd. He was finally able to get a victory uh, and avenge uh, his friends. Uh, and uh, be able to bring them back. You know, the the, the focus of it all went to Sting, uh, with uh, you know Triple H yelling for Sting to to show up. Um, you know, is Sting going to show up at the Royal Rumble? You know, seeing how this is only days away. I know we're counting down until WrestleMania. Uh, lots of ways they can do this. I think the easiest match you could see for WrestleMania 31 is going to be Sting versus Triple H. But once again, we've seen Sting uh, make Seth Rollins lose a big match on the big stage. Uh, with Seth Rollins not being able to pull off the win for the authority. Seth Rollins was yelling about Sting and about how Sting screwed him, and now here it is, Sting making him lose uh, an embarrassing match when he had the three-on-one advantage on John Cena. Seth Rollins is the one that was able to uh, take the loss, not even Corporate Kane. Cena got to pin the main guy there. He pinned Seth Rollins. So uh, it's another loss. You you could do Sting versus Seth Rollins. I'm sure that would be a dream match for for Seth. You know, growing up a big wrestling fan, you see him on a lot of the... uh, countdown and flash down uh, flashback shows talking about the Monday Night Wars, talking about WCW, talking about how cool it was to watch Sting back in the day. Whoever it's going to be, if it's Sting versus Triple H, Sting versus Seth Rollins, it's going to be a good one. Sting coming down at the Royal Rumble and making sure that John Cena became the champion, um, you know, trying to make sure that the authority didn't get their way, doesn't answer a lot of questions about why Sting is back in the WWE. Sting is like the one guy in the wrestling business, I guess now, uh, you can look at AJ Styles. Uh, at least AJ wrestled, you know, those few um, Velocity uh, matches back in the day. 
Um, you know, that you can at least hang your hat on saying he worked for WWE once, but he's never had a run in WWE where he was a big star. But Sting was the one guy uh, that wrestled for WCW. He wrestled for TNA. He never made the jump. A lot of people always said it was because when Booker T came over from WCW, uh, The Rock said, you know, who are you? Uh, sort of, you know, not playing off WCW and not saying that Booker T was a real big star. He thought that Vince was going to hurt his status uh, rather than anything else. Um, we've just got the best of Sting that was released on DVD. It's been out for a little while. I think a whole lot of people are looking forward to a, a Sting documentary. I, I know that uh, one of my biggest knocks on um, documentaries coming out on uh, wrestlers uh, is that they put them out before we finish their career. So, you know, you, you, you get the disc and you like the documentary, but then a year goes by and so much stuff has happened and, um, you, you wish, you know, you had more, um, with Sting, maybe it's better that they put out the, his best of before they put out his, uh, you know, his second release, which would have his documentary on there. So it would cover his WWE run saying why he came to WWE. Uh, I would love it on the show for them to explain why he's stepping up to the authority. Uh, if he's just trying to hold back Triple H because he is the new Vince McMahon. And, uh, he basically thought that Vince McMahon was squashing him out his whole career by not bringing him into the WWE. I don't know. I've got a lot more questions and I've got answers. And that's why I think I'm looking forward to this sting. Uh, WrestleMania feud, whoever it would be against, but, uh, you know, he, he's just sort of being the vigilante. I don't know if he's doing it for the people, and uh, he's he's one of us, and he's trying to fix WWE and, and make it better by trying to squash out the authority. Uh, but that's, you know, soon questions to be answered. Uh, I'm hoping that Sting uh, makes his appearance at the Royal Rumble, seeing how this is only days away from being on Raw, and he just screwed uh, Triple H. Uh, I'm guessing that more than likely Sting's appearances will mostly be on Raw hyping up uh, the WrestleMania 31 match, but it would be nice for him to make sure that uh, Seth Rollins doesn't cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase, doesn't uh, win the big one. Triple H, you know, when he was uh, with Randy Orton in the early days of the Authority, it was they were almost playing it off like Triple H couldn't wrestle anymore, Triple H couldn't be the champion, so it was like Randy was holding holding his belt by Randy Orton being champion. It was like Triple H being champion. They did the whole thing where Randy Orton gave, um, no, I apologize. Triple H gave Randy Orton, uh, the Cadillac Escalade. And he was saying that since he bought it with his money and he was giving it to Randy, it's like the car was his. And that was the playoff words that I was getting that, you know, it was like Triple H was the champion because he kept on making sure that Randy Orton was the champion by putting him in situations uh, that he was going to be able to win and and keep the belt. So I'm looking for Cena to, to win the championship. I think that makes WWE a lot better. And uh, if Sting is able to make an appearance at the Royal Rumble, uh, making sure that Rollins and, and Triple H uh, don't conspire to cheat in this match by... Um, making sure that he comes out on top, um, it'll make it even better.